hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Amazon home decor favorites that can be used year round. These are great year round staples, but I'm also going to be sharing with you in depth about how they look compared to other items and the good and the bad, but also higher end price range to a lower end price range, getting a little bit more bang for your buck. And so hopefully that helps you out. I really like sharing in detail about these items so that you know exactly what you're getting. None of this is sponsored. Everything was purchased with my own money and everything that I will share with you will be linked in the description box below. Just tap the more button right next to the title if you're on your phone or the arrow if you're on your desktop on my like to know it as well as my blog and Instagram. So hopefully this video helps you out. We have a lot to get through. I think I have 15 items to share with you today. So let's get right on into it. The first one is my absolute favorite for spring. I wasn't sure what to expect with this item because it was really low price when I first ordered it. And I was like, is it gonna be junk? It's not, it's so good. Greenery stems. This is how they come wrapped up in the bag. Nothing fancy whatsoever. I did share these on my uh, YouTube stories and in the community tab. And a lot of you, and on Instagram, a lot of you grab them and I hope you love them just as much as I do. But they're really full. That is one stem. I mean, come on. This is normally like three stems at the store. So these were, um, if they're still on sale, it's $4 plus I think $5 for shipping, which isn't bad because it's dollars uh, or nine dollars so really like these this is one solid piece so nothing is going to come off on this and then there's a nice green variation it goes from a little bit darker to a little lighter it's not a super dark green though you can see that compared to my winter green so it's beautiful for all year round but definitely for spring and summer and you can see how one looks in a vase two and also three. So you can definitely get away with just one of these. You can do all three, um, but they're super long and you can bend them up short. Such a wonderful find. Now, there is another item that looks similar to those that I ordered and it's the exact same thing and it's $22. So um, that's kind of nice that you can save on these. And I ordered three packages of those because I thought it was only one stem neat package. I misread it, but all three came exactly the same way. And I know a few of you like on Instagram were like wondering about like, oh, it doesn't look very good for shipping and stuff, whatever. They all came exactly the same. It just took like two and a half weeks to get here for me anyways. I get this question all the time. What pillow insert do you use? I have two that I use. First, I have IKEA is feather down ones. Those are nice, but if you don't like the feel of feathers in your pillows, I don't suggest you get them. They're just a really good price. And if you don't have an Ikea next to you, well then there you go. They do have feather down in this version, but this is the alternative down and it is so squishy. It's amazing. It is a little bit of an investment, but if you're going to stick to just buying covers and you want really nice pillows that kind of contour and aren't just stiff and, you know, really like deflated, this are a great option. You can see how thick this is. This is a 20 by 20 insert. It's really soft and squishy. You can even chop it if you're into that like I am. And if you're not, that's okay. You're gonna insert the pillow um, into the cover. You just need to bend it in half, basically. You usually wanna size up. So if your pillow cover is a 20 by 20, then you want a 22 by 22 insert. Okay, now how full you like it. If you like the pillow cover to have a little give in it, then do the same size. But if you want it to be really full looking like this, this pillow cover is a great alternative to Target's. Now, Target is a little bit, this is really uh, it's like a soft linen and a little bit more on the, not see-through, but it's thinner. This one is from Amazon, obviously, and it's thicker and it has a bit of a longer um, fringe than the Target one, but look at the coloring on those two. Very good lookalikes. And this one is no longer available at Target. I wish it was, I think this pillow is like three years old. This is my favorite because it's a really nice neutral. If you're looking for that same type of pillow, this is a great alternative. And this does come in a few different colors too. I really like the fringe detail on it. It just adds a little something, especially if you don't wanna do patterns everywhere. But this one I actually thought was the same as the one I shared with you in fall. John, this one is a lot longer than this one is. So, but really, really beautiful. Both of these options I'll leave for you and they all have similar colorings. This one is just 
it's like butter. I really like it. This one's soft, but not as soft as this one. Now this pillow cover is a little bit of an investment, but it also comes with an insert. It's just not as poofy as the Amazon one that I recommend to you, which is in here right now. But this one is so pretty. The tassels on it are fabulous. I love this so much. It's just nice and chunky. It is just a really pretty staple. And then as far as the color goes, it is a little bit more on the creamy side compared to the other cover. The material itself is thicker and it's got a nice texture as well. Now this pillow looked a little bit different to me in person than I remember it being online. It is really nice. It is a lumbar size. It's got really, really soft. It's almost like a velvet material. And then they have the stitching on it. It's really, really pretty. Um, it is a darker taupe color and it's still nice neutral. And then it has the fringe detail on the sides of it. It came with the insert already in it, but it is a cover. The texture on this pillow is just beautiful. Um, and it's plain on the black, it has the cover. And all of these come with an insert, so if you don't have one, that's it comes with it. Um, this is just my favorite because I really like it. And again, these are all really nice neutrals, so you can pair seasonal pillows with these and they'll all look really nice. I'll share with you a couple Amazon spring items that I think are just so good. First up are these cherry blossoms. Look how full those are. This comes with three stems when you purchase it and it um, has a little bit more of a, not a purple stem, but like a purpley brown color. The flowers are just so realistic and full. I mean, the bees, if this was real, would be having so much fun. I'm trying to see if these pop off. So these do pop off, um, but they do slide right back on, but there is a little bit of a give to them. Um, so you know that, but I wanted to show you this one compared to Target's Cherry Blossom. I think these were around $10 a stem, maybe a little bit less. I'm trying to remember. Um, this one is 15. So here is the difference. This one is a little bit more on the wood side. This one's very full bloom. So it really just depends on what you're looking for, but hopefully that helps you out as far as which one you want. So both of them will be linked down below for you. Fluff, I just took those right out of the package and everything. So you can kind of see the difference between all three of these there for you and you see a few of them popping off that's fine you just you have to just reattach them but they're they did a good job i just the pink's a little brighter than i want but i think this would be really pretty depending on your wall color and the vase really nice are these faux tulips these are such a good find they're very realistic looking now these ones um, when i bought them last year were very white so um, over storing them um, just in the garage and my bins they have colored up just a teeny bit but they're still very beautiful i have um, a shade in purple and they are beautiful but you get a little less but they're very realistic looking and oh they're just gorgeous i love mixing and matching those along with the poppy and so realistic looking the fuzz on the stem is so good and if you guys have been with me then you saw me use those last year really good beautiful pieces that you can use throughout the summer so now we're going to move into candle holders i really like a really nice pretty brass looking one the iron ones i have a few different styles but um, these are sold separately and they're a little pricey they are heavy they're really nicely made they're really pretty they have a little bit of hammering detail in them um, I think there's a third option as well that you can pair together. So really nice, they're made in India. To try out a set that was a little bit cheaper for um, all three of them, and I wasn't sure what I was gonna get. This one I was very surprised with. It came very well packaged. This one is very hammered. A size two, it comes as a set of three, and you can get all three for the price of one and a half of this style. But I wanted to show you the color difference on these they're very similar to each other not very far off this one's a little bit more i would say on the duller side and this one's very much on the gold side but with these type of candles you can rub and buff these if you wanted to and give that look in the coloring that you want I just have my faux ones it holds it just fine in either one and it um, is deep enough to where it covers up that little um, rubber backing where the batteries go in 
on my faux candles. This next candle set is very heavy. It's a nice stone. I feel like they're marble, very um, creamy looking, but the texture on them is great. Like they said, they're stone. They do come with little pads that you can put on the bottom so they don't scratch anything, but they are very smooth in general. I think these would be better off, um, well, but it goes all the way down um, with more real candles in them pair well on bookshelves on coffee tables console tables they're just a nice decorative piece um and they're just add that little bit of texture that you want so if you're not into the iron or the wood stone is a great way to go and stone is very popular for 2023 apparently next amazon staple that i have that you can use year round and i we have used it year round i think we've had these for over a year now really like them they are a honeycomb window covering and these ones are the light filtering ones and i love the way they look because they let in a ton of light but they block out anything from outside but they insulate the room so well they hold out a ton of cold air which is amazing because we have really cold winters here but the best part is of how they install so i did mine on the inside of my window they clip on in the top and they're just super easy to install and if you need to move them they just clip right out i have tried so many other options that are just a pain in the keister to hook up and you wouldn't think it's complicated but some of them are just annoying this one is so easy it comes in a few different colors as well and obviously sizes but those have been the best investment we made and they're really not priced i think at the time last year when we bought them were around 30 dollars a shade which is really good so i highly recommend those and i really like our curtain rods um i've gotten all of them from amazon and i really like this brand because they come in a couple different colors but all the sizes are really nice they come with enough of the hanging hardware so they have a good wall supports and everything they're just really nice and then the ends screw on so if you wanted to change those with something a little bit more decorative you totally could the next few items are a little bit bigger of a purchase but boy are they beautiful and worth it they will last you for years to come one being this beautiful arched mirror i got this i think four years ago now maybe five love it came really nicely packaged and everything and that's a, a question i get a lot of i not recommend it anymore but if you're going to hang it you have to make sure you hang it in studs because it'll rip right out of the wall it is really really heavy and then next up is actually the console table i really like it i've used it throughout the house but it's really really pretty it comes in i think three or four different color finishes to it very easy to put together and it's just a really nice size i really like the length of it and the next one i never thought i'd be buying in general let alone off of amazon but it's actually my leather sofa um, i'm not really into that regular lighter leather brown color that is very typical i really wanted a deeper color i found a beautiful charcoal brown and it looks exactly like the picture it is really comfortable it's a deep seated sofa it's not terribly high in the back but it's also not very low it's just really comfortable it is a feather down so it has a little bit of squish to it but it's not um, too squishy to where you're uncomfortable very nice love it the leather on it is really nice as well i'm very pleased with it and i feel like it was a little bit cheaper than traditional like what you'd buy a traditional leather sofa and obviously not on amazon but it comes in three different sizes so i have the larger 89 inch and then it comes in love seat size which i think is like 67 or so and then it has a really wide chair that it comes in so really really like it the only thing you have to put on it are the feet that's it it's all done besides that so i really like that it's one solid piece and then the cushions do remove and everything so i wanted something a little bit less maintenance um, because the white sofa i had there um i thought with the kiddos being older it would be easier to keep clean now the more they play outside the harder it is to keep clean and i was having to clean it practically every day and i was like this is way too much work for a sofa so if you're going to be buying a sofa make sure you get one that is a full slip cover because I've had an all white sofa, um, one from Ikea actually, and it washed up perfectly white every single time, but I could wash the entire thing. The other sofa, I could only wash the cushions. I couldn't wash the sides and that was just too much maintenance for me. So that is why I changed it and I didn't want to, but I really like this option because it's wipeable, it's really clean and it's very comfortable. So 
yeah, um, I still want to add a lighter sofa in here, but it will just be a full slip cover when, <laughs> when I do add one. Next up are faux trees. Now I have two olive trees. This is the first one that I purchased. It's in really pretty dark green. It has the olives on it. This one is six foot. Um, and then I does come in four and five foot, I believe. And then I also have a seven foot of olive tree that is a lighter green color, lighter branch, really realistic looking trunk and everything. I really like both of them. It's just seven foot, so it offers a little bit more height, it's a little sprawled out, and a softer green. So it just really depends on what color green you are wanting. Both are really beautiful options, but these are great to use in your home um, because they offer a lot of height without taking up a ton of space, a lot of interest. Everybody has a preference. If you like real, you do you. That's perfect. I love real, but I like real outside, not inside. I have some herbs and things like that, but I like having the faux trees because they look beautiful all year round and you can switch them up throughout the rooms. They're really good investments. And whether you're doing an olive tree or birch tree or whatever, those are really nice home staples because again, they ought to offer a lot of height to your space and color too. A couple other staples I wanted to share with you is actually my clothing. This top, I have it in a, I think it's called the apricot color. It's really, really pretty. So I ordered it in black and I love how it looks. Now I have really long arms. So if your arms are shorter than my lawns, then they'll have a nice little poof to them, but they're long enough for me, which is what I like. And I like that it, um, it's just really comfortable. I like the neckline on it. It's a really soft, stretchy material and they're long enough um, so you can wear it with lower pants if you want to. But I paired it with these trousers that I got off Amazon and they're long enough. Oh my goodness. I have tried so many and they've all been like waiting for the flood to come. <laughs> So these are great. They actually go down to the floor on me. I really like these. These come in a lot of different colors and then the front area is also different on a few of them. So they sell this color with a different front option as well, but I like the pleating that they did here in the front. It's very flattering. They are a higher waist and they hit me right at my belly button. They're just really pretty and they are wide leg. They're very, very comfortable. And I got a size medium and they fit beautifully. And I'm around a four to eight size pant, depending on what brand you choose, because none of the brands are ever the same. So a lot of the tops you see in my videos are from Amazon and I really like them. They're just really nice and a little bit dressed up, but they can be very casual at the same time. Like this blouse, I have it in white and black that you've seen. It's very lightweight, airy, and it's just really, really pretty. Those are some of my favorite Amazon home decor purchases that I have made that I really, really like. So hopefully I have described them good enough in detail so you can figure out if that's something that you want or you don't want. It's never fun when you order something off Amazon and it looks like nothing like the picture. I have been there far too many times, but that is why I create these videos so that I can do a process of elimination and then share with you really good finds and deals and everything. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that subscribe button, love to have you here. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Just tap the arrow or the more button right next to the title. You can also find it in my Amazon storefront, Instagram, or my like to know it. That's the easiest place to shop the items as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to share with you how I'm going to decorate with some of these pieces and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you again for spending part with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.